Um, since it is the beginning of February, and for us pagan folk, it is Ingolik, or Candlemas, which is the first and second and or second of February, I thought it would be good for a little warm up to do, you know, month ahead for the Zodiac. Okay. Rude. Sorry, that that's something like Devil or Tower or something. Shit. <laughs> oh, just the hangman. But the camera's kind of closer to me than it was before. Not by much, but a tad bit closer than it was before. So, like, if I extend my arm all the way, the card is like really close, but if I extend it halfway, it's still fine. So, that's a thing I didn't check earlier, but at least that one was good. <laughs> um, this is a lot lighter than I normally stream. So, the, the lighting on this side. Might change a lot because I move my window and then a ring light that I have. Because if I have the ring light in front of me, I know from the first time I've been you can't see the cards because it's way too like bright and you just literally can't see shit. So hopefully it'll be fine. Gosh. Also, because it's a little later, I'm gonna be looking out this way a lot because then my window's that way and I'm gonna be seeing things out of the corner of my eye. And I'm a look. Hello, Mac. How are you? A month ahead for the Zodiacs, so just like a warm up. Holy shite, okay, I love fire sign. What are you? Oh, two cards. Two cards, two cards. Okay, I do that. Stop spinning. <laughs> the only one time I ever want to it doesn't spin. Okay, let's see. This is the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, and then five, six, seven, eight of cups. This is weird because they're both. Reversed. Okay. So, again, it's my trusty name in the book. You want to then? Yeah. Oh, I had to look at this to make sure it was the tarot one. This is the only little black book I have. Okay. We're looking for trying to know what it means, but I don't really know what it means at first. So, fire signs! No control this month, a little bit of bad luck, clinging to control, resistance to change, breaking cycles, that's a good thing, but the cups, but this cup, usually upright, is not really good because all of the cups have like broken usually, so it's kind of like a bad omen, I have a better word, hold on, five, six, seven, eight, okay, one more page, eight of cups, trying again, confusion, Fear of the unknown, indecision, aimless drifting. Okay, no control of that, but clean to control, resistance to change, breaking cycles, trying again, confusion, fear of the unknown, indecision, aimless drifting. Mm. Okay, so I feel like the month of February, Fire signs will be dealing with a little bit of like a rough patch. So a little bit of like, you know, broken cycles, which is a good part, but no control. Being out of control, not really knowing what you're doing, and being, you know, kind of broken. I already feel like it's meant. Mm. Uh, this is why I do this as a warm-up. I'm not the greatest of things. Trying again, confusion, fear of the unknown, indecision, aimless drifting. So yeah, aimless drifting, aimlessly doing things, but without, you know, something to aim for, obviously. Fear of the unknown, so therefore, you know, no control. Holds like cycles. No, that's what it means upright. But no control because of a lack of, you know, a goal that's like good. Not that it's a bad goal necessarily, but... You're aimlessly trying to find something, you're kind of afraid of the unknown because you don't really know how to like aim towards the thing you want, you know, properly. So you kind of are losing control, losing the ability to actually move forward. So fire signs for the month of February. The little tiny advice would be to maybe take a little bit of a break from what you're doing. Stop, regather yourself, actually make a plan. Think about the things that you're afraid of, maybe write a list of some sort. That sounds and seems like it would help a little bit. 
if you're having like a little bit of confusion, a little bit of like aimless drive that's not thoroughly, you know, there in the right kind of mind, maybe, just maybe, you need to have a little bit of patience with yourself and embrace the unknown. Like everything's new to begin with. Everything's new at first, but you have to get used to it in order for it to be nice and good and work and not feel uncomfortable and like you're lacking because you don't know what to do. Fear happens. Everything is always something that we don't know until we try. So fire signs do that. Before I get too far into this, is there a preferred term of respect for someone who is not binary? As in the binary terms for sir or ma'am, do you have any preferred term of term? I don't necessarily like terms of respect, but if you really want to, you can use the ZAM, as in Z-A-M, kind of like ma'am, but it's with a Z and an A and an M. I don't really enjoy uh, terms of respect, but that's just me and a lot of other people do. And if you do have a preference of that, you can just use ZAM, Z-A-M, or Z-A-M, if hearing Z confuses you. <laughs> but um, thank you for asking, that is very sweet of you, instead of just assuming. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. I will just say each individual non-binary person or person that maybe not identify as male or female, they're different, each one. I would always ask each individual person. It's very nice of you to ask. Hello, Ori. Okay, so let us do a reading. No, not really a reading, but no. Okay, I did fire signs for the month of February. Let us do water signs for the month of February. Let's see what is ahead for a water sign in this magical month of my birthday. I'm trying very hard to make my changes on the forward assumption. That is amazing and great. My mom is too. And I'm lucky that I have a mom that's very open and loving about this stuff. So it's very nice. Thank you for, you know, caring enough about another human being too want to respect them. Okay, so... Hello, Daddy Little Princess! <laughs> okay, so... Water signs month ahead. We get to see... We get to see... Month of February for the... Whoa! Okay, fire signs. Water signs. I just did fire signs, you silly. That is three cards. Okay, a little more complicated. But not a major arcana, so it's not a long-term thing. Okay, five, six... I do not know things, so I have to actually look at the B and go, okay, well, that's five, but if there's more behind it, I know it's bigger, if it's more behind, in front of it, it's lesser. I'm learning still. Oh. Roman numerals. Okay. Five, six. Six of pentacles. Ah. Uh, swords. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight of swords. Reversed, which usually upright, this is about change and cocoon because, you know, butterfly. This is in reverse, which I do not know. And then this one, spider warning, it's small, but just in case, is five, six, seven, eight of pentacles. Right. Just a little book of tarot, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> okay. Pentacles, mostly pentacles. And then mostly pentacles and then a sword. So this is more around, you know, ownership of things. Everything like that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Ownership, money, property, other things like that. Okay. Do, do. I don't even remember the numbers. That was a five, six, seven, eight, and that was an eight, and that was a six, seven, five, six. Six of pentacles, and then the eight. So, each in between. That's how numbers work. Okay, so, the Six of Pentacles, that was upright, correct, Mundo, for water signs. Yes, Six of Pentacles. 
upright for water signs is charity, giving, sharing, generosity, receiving, compassion. And just like this plant, it is bearing fruit. So, you know, fruitfulness and things like that. Um, charity, giving, sharing, generosity, receiving, compassion. And then the sword is technically. Do, 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 do. And the sword was a spade of swords. Well, that's an eight, right? That is so sorry. And eight. Eight of swords and reversed. Yes, eight of swords. And reversed is self-acceptance, new perspective, freedom, releasing inner understanding okay. and then eight of pentacles in reverse is unfocused unmotivated perfectionism and misdirection and then self-development so water signs have a little bit of a complicated situation for february is there a reading you yes you can um do explanation point join I am just going to be doing these little morning, morning, it's not morning, it's usually morning when I do this, sorry. I'm just going to be doing my little like warm-ups for this, so like, you know, I still have water signs, air signs, and earth signs to go for the month of February predictions, but you can still join the queue if you want it. Want to? Hopefully you could hear that, because that was so adorable. Um, feline. I have cards because you'll chew on them. Yeah, you like to chew on things, you little naughty booger. Okay. So, okay. This of Pentacles was upright. Let me just double my fucking make name. Okay, yes. Upright, reverse, reverse. Okay, okay. Hi, little lady. Here, cutie patootie. Okay. Education, apprenticeship. Again. Okay. What is it? Yeah, you are. Hello. <laughs> okay. Education, apprenticeship, achievement, mastery. Repetitive task, study, hard work. That is the wrong one. No, I'm looking at six of pentacles in upright, not eight of pentacles. So, water signs. Sure. Yes. <laughs> oh, something weird could be okay. Water signs get blessed with a feline, but you can only see part of it. Her. You're not an it, you are a feline. You're a fluffy booger. Okay. Excuse you. Excuse I'm reading. Excuse you. <laughs> Oh, she's so much more loving at, like, in the afternoon than in the mornings. This is kind of different. You, you can't lay on one leg. You know that doesn't work. You're too big. You know, you're like, I'm gonna try. You can't make me nothing. Can you? Could you? I need to read my child. I love you. Okay, Six of Pentacles, Charity, Giving, Sharing, Generosity, Receiving, Compassion, Eight of Swords, Reversed, Self-Acceptance, New Perspective, Freedom, Releasing, Inner Understanding, and then eight of no bite the cards. All right. And then eight of pentacles, unfocused, unmotivated perfectionism, misdirected self development. Okay. This is a little complicated. Because there's some charity and giving and sharing, and generosity and receiving and compassion. But then there's also like you're needing to like accept yourself, uh, having a new perspective, some freedom, releasing. An inner understanding, and then eight of pentacles in reverse is like unfocused, unmotivated perfectionism, is directed in self development. So, like, water signs in the month of February is kind of seeming like you're giving too much to other people that may not like not like they don't deserve it, but you're giving too much to people. Like, you're just cherry giving, 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 sharing, sharing, maybe like you're receiving, but. It doesn't seem like you're receiving enough because I think like what you're doing is trying to give in order to feel like good and accepted and understood when you just need to do that like self-acceptance of like inner understanding yourself instead of trying to get that from other people you're like not focused on like how you see yourself you're more focused on what other people see you as what other people see you as I must be perfect because other people have to see me. I must be this. So yeah, you're misdirected mentally. And you need that self-development. Like, you need to have that self-development so that you can 
you know, accept yourself, get a new perspective, get that freedom of feeling like, you know, you know your worth, you know who you are. You go, you're releasing what other people think of, you're releasing that like, oh no, other people have to think I'm good, have to think this, have to think that, so you're finally getting that inner understanding. So it seems as though for water signs, oh, good girl. Okay, so it seems as though for water signs, the month of February is gonna be a lot of like change and inner self healing and inner self like acceptance and love with the pentacles, the six of the five seconds. <laughs> the six of pentacles upright being giving, receiving. You're giving too much and you're receiving, but you're wanting to you, you you're wanting to have other people's opinion you're putting their opinion on a pedestal higher than your own about yourself to where you're like no my self-worth depends on other people and with this um eight of swords in reverse it's just like you need to have that change you need to have self-acceptance in yourself you need to not have that reliance on other people other people other people because you are you, you have to love yourself before anyone else can love you. And then the Eight of Pentacles, just being that like disheartened feeling of like feeling trapped, feeling this, feeling like, no, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Other people, other people, my self-worth is reliant on other people because you just haven't actually buckled down to learn how to love yourself really. Honestly, I think everyone can relate to that to a degree at least some point in your life. Um, well, I do do this for like a specific like fire, water, earth, air and stuff like that. If something resonates and it's not inside your zodiac or in your chart, you can take it. It doesn't really matter. Don't claim a fucking reading because it's not yours to claim. Sorry, that just bothers me. <laughs> when I like post a TikTok and someone's like, claim! And I'm like, you don't need to claim it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I digress. So let's do Earth signs because that's is on my mind right now. So Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Let us do month ahead for the Earth signs. Absolutely, Pentagram. Earth, Eight of Pentacles upon others so far too much. Well, far, far too long. Or far too long. I'm good at English. I can read. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, everyone does that at least one time in their life. You know, in some way, shape, or form, either from like compliments because they're calling you beautiful or compliments on your ability to like act and everything yeah everyone struggled with that a little bit chef right definitely love what you love <clears throat> i need to cough and i don't want to cough is even it sounds like smokers cough even though i don't really want to smoke well, why are you not working out this time okay sorry to hear all the noises Oh my, that mouse is not working. I don't know why it's not working. There we go. Get a wireless mouse, they said. It'd be great, they said. I've actually had that mouse for years, so. It's just, it needs a new battery. I keep forgetting to put a new battery in. Okay, Earth Science. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Okay. Month ahead for the Earth signs. February month ahead for Virgo, Capricorn, and the Taurus. I don't either. My main mouse. This is only my mouse for when I'm streaming over here. Because when I'm like doing my gaming stuff, which is every other day of the week except you know Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So you know Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, I'm not sitting over here. This is. You know, books, reading. It looks nice. Um, usually I have a wired mouse, so I don't trust wireless either. But this mouse used to be okay. This mouse used to be perfectly fine. It used to not be all fucky, but now it's all fucky. I don't know why it's all fucky. I digress. Fucking earth signs. Oh my god, the I yelled at them and they were like, oh, okay, here you go, cart fish. <laughs> oh, Kelly, go, Kelly, Ooh. Ooh, but in reverse. Same familiar, but it's reversed. Okay. So, Three of Cups, which is about this one actually. No, it's about teamwork, togetherness. Well, no, that's the Pentacles. Three of Cups is about a party, companionship, friendship. And, like, yeah, because the normal Major Arcana, not Major Arcana, what am I talking about? The Rider Waite deck usually has 
three people holding the cup up. This just says three birds and three cups, which doesn't have the greatest bit of. That's the word I'm looking for. It's the word I'm looking for. Imagery! There we go. But it's still gonna. So, Earth signs, three cup energy. That's pretty good. The other two are reversed and pentacles. So, again, it's gonna be a little bit of like property ownership. However, neither one was less property on ownership. It was more of like owning your own self for water signs, but for earth signs, maybe this will be different. Because um, the six of pentacles is in reverse this time. And the four of pentacles is also in reverse. Hello? There we go. So, let us see. Let us see. What about this monthly duo? I actually got a gaming mouse too. I got it on Newegg. It's a Zolman. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's good. I actually got it on sale. It was like 12 bucks, and it's usually like 30 or something like that. So I was like, I need a new mouse anyways, because the mouse was fucked up and the right click wasn't working. That was fun. Kind of sucks that I didn't get serious. You can go back to the VOD right now because it's actually live right now because that was the first one I did and then watch that and then come back if you want to because I still have this earth and then air to go if you want to just pop back and then come back. It's fine. It's perfectly fine if you want to do that. I honestly already don't remember what that was. I need to change my timers for that but not that bad. It's not bad here, okay? So it's fine. Okay. Three cups and then it's all pentacle do tags. That was a six. It gives a six and then an eight, right? Six and then that was eight. Oh yeah, this was a four. You silly goober, it's not a fucking eight. The eight one was the last one. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So stay. Okay. So, Earth signs have four, no, three cups energy, which is celebration, friendship, happiness, collaborations, creativity, and social gatherings, you know? Three little birdies on a little walk, just being like, so, we're friends, we're hanging out, thought out our friends, yeah, we're hanging out. And then, the six of pentacles in reversed is self-care. Debt, selfishness, stinginess, one-sided charity. So like, you're only either giving, 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 or receiving, receiving, receiving. You're not giving and receiving. And then the four of pentacles in the best of boosters. Focus, please not. Look at this one has to focus in the middle. But you know, because on the side, it's like, mm-mm. Oh, now you will. Because you're like, no, face is prettier. Mm -hmm. Debatable sometimes. So, the four of pentacles in reversed is possessiveness, greediness, again, stinginess, overspending, extreme control, and hoarding. So, with that, combined with this six, six, yeah, six of pentacles in reversed, being like one-sided charity, self-care, and selfishness, this seems like it's more of selfishness, less of the self-care. Because self-care is not selfish, but it's along the same lines of selfishness, even though it's not selfishness. It's a good positive part of taking care of yourself without, you know, constantly only taking care of you and only you. So, but combining the four of pentacles and the six of pentacles that are both in reverse, it seems as though you're just being too greedy with, like, possessions and maybe people even because of the three of cups that we have here. So it seems as though this month of February, you need to kind of calm down your signs and maybe understand that whoever you have in your life wants to be there. You're not alone. You're not... Please don't unplug that, you crazy cycle cat. Hey. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, no, the hive of the cat. Cat hike, okay. Vector sucks, sorry. So it seems like with this and compassion and friendship and happiness and collaborations and creativity, you're kind of hoarding it. You're being greedy with your friends. You're being like, no, you can't be friends with other people. How dare you? No, you're my friend. 
Why are you hanging out with that person? I don't like that person. That person's not nice. That person treated me wrong once. So it seems as though, unfortunately, you're being a little selfish. You're being a little stingy. You're doing one-sided charity, which in this case is kind of like, no, you're my friend. We can have a close relationship, but you can't have a close relationship with that other person because I don't like that other person because you're being greedy and you're being very stingy again. Like stingy was in both of these keywords. So it's very much so like stinginess. You're being very much so like, no, you're my friend. Why are you trying to talk to them so much? Why are you so close to them? And maybe this could be like a love situation. Like it could be you're being a little too possessive and like obsessive and greedy around like your lover to where you're like not allowing them to go out with their friends because you're afraid they're gonna like hurt you or break up with you in some way or shape or form. Like, like I know February stereotypically is all about like love because Valentine's Day, which huh, Valentine's Day is my birthday. So Valentine's Day is not Valentine's Day, it's my birthday. Mm -hmm. I digress. <laughs> So, Earth Signs, I feel like you're being too greedy with your friends, your colleagues, your happiness, maybe even. You're like, no, I'm happy. You can't be happy. How dare you be happy? Like, take a moment. Take a step back. Realize, you know what? You can be friends with other people as well. You're like a lover to another friend, to a partner, any sort, any kind partner is even because, okay, I'm just with my night. <laughs> but you just, you have to remember to trust people. And if you have people that you don't trust and you can't trust, and it's not just an insecurity of your own, then my cat is running around. He's like a laugh. That's <laughs> cute. Oh my god. Please don't unplug anything. I love you. Good thanks. Yeah, I'm talking to you, bitch. Granted, if she unplugs it, I just have to plug it again. Hopefully, it won't go weird in live, though. That would be a problem. Kudina, that is my sock. Kudina, I've been wearing that all damn day. They're stinky. They're stinky, stingy socks. Okay, so last but not least, air sign. Which, if you know, I, my main three is literally all three air sign. I am an Aquarius sun, a Libra moon, and a Gemini rising. So air sign readings very much so resonate really hard with me, and I always have to kind of disconnect myself to the readings, which makes it to where it's a little harder for me to actually read them sometimes, because I have to disconnect my own personal shit with it, you know? There's that. Let's see how the month of February might go for air signs. Air signs, month of February. Month of February for the air signs. Oh, okay. okay. You, you like a like no. Eh. That one was giving me so much energy, but it was just like, no, I want to stay here. I'm like, no, you're falling. There's signs February. Ooh, five, six, seven, eight of wands. I love my card in this deck. By the way, I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot deck. By the way, which granted this is a popular tarot deck. In case you didn't know what it was, that is what I'm using today. One more card, or is it just a few cards like fire sign was? Oh no! Oh, death card. Oh, okay then. So, air signs. Like, not fucking flippy floppy swooshy wooshy. Ooh. Okay, so, air signs got a little bit of, um, death. Which is not always a bad card. Sometimes it's a great card. And then wand energy. The wand energy is more of like actions and things like that. That's how I remember it. Water, no, not water. Um, wands are also associated with fire, so passion, action, you know, things like that. Okay, cool. So I'm already experiencing what you mentioned for Star Wars. Being unsure how to do that card here. I'm turning right now. Yep. Well, I'm glad that resonated for ya! Yeah. Okay, so, air signs. Don't get a leather chair, it has sticky feet because you've been outside all day. It's kind of gross. Okay. So, the death card, five, six, seven, eight of wands, and then six, five, six, yeah, six of wands. Okay. 
wand energy. Death card, which kind of means. Also, all of these are upright for air signs, which is like. Oh, that's something. Wait, isn't death like last card or second to last card? It's you have death and then you rule. Nope. Hello. There's death. Tower, death, death. Okay. And then. Wands. Wands first. Yes. Wands is first. Wands is first, actually. Wands is first. I'm lying. I, I, I wrote this book. I wrote this damn book and I don't know what order it's in. Five, six, seven, eight, and then six, six, and eight. Okay, so. Oh, no, I do not have Okay, so air signs endings, beginnings, change, transformation, transition, and metamorphosis. Death card's are really not a bad card. Sometimes, depending on if you don't like change or whatever. Which I understand because change is not always the greatest, but I personally, like, the tower card is my favorite card, like, hi. I love the whole, like, destroying the old and bringing up the new, even if it's, like, a abrupt and it, like, ruins your life for, like, five minutes or something. Sometimes five months, sometimes five years. I've experienced that, all of them. Like, I love a good tower moment, you know? And then the eight of wands. Oh, pretty and rainbowy. There you go. So, the Eight of Wands being rapid change, movement, quick decision, decisions, action, alignment, and execution. And then the Six of Wands. Ooh, two rainbowish kind of things. This one actually has a proper rainbow, and the other one has like a rainbow lightning bolt kind of looking thing. I know I have shaky hands, but like, there you go with the shroud of the light. It's fine. Okay, six of wands is victory, success, recognition, progressive, self confidence, and rewards. Okay, now, I don't know if you missed this part. I am an air sign. All three of my names are all three air sign. So I have to kind of detach myself and really focus on this. Otherwise, it gets too personal when it's supposed to be general. So. Endings, beginning, change, transformation, transition, metamorphosis, victory, success, progress, confidence, rewards, rapid change, movement, quick decisions, action, alignment, execution. Hmm, okay, this one's actually semi straightforward and really, really positive, which is great. <laughs> Try not to. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so. It feels as though air signs is gonna go through obviously metamorphosis, a change, endings, beginnings, but it's gonna be very much so a positive thing, but it's gonna move really quickly. So it's gonna go really quick, rapid change, rapid this, rapid decisions, you have to make do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now, not later now. So it feels as though, yeah, basically just that. It's gonna be really fast change, but it's gonna be like a good change, a victory, a, a successful thing. It's gonna help with your confidence. You're gonna get rewarded for it. You're gonna get recognition for it. It's gonna be progress towards your goal, your end goal. And it's it's gonna be aligned with what you want, what your actions are, but it, it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be a thing where you have like five minutes to fucking change. You have, not change, but to make that decision. Like it's gonna be a maybe a deadline, deadline kind of thing where you feel like you're gonna have to grind. But if you do do the work and you do grind, you're gonna have like that amazing self-confidence, the reward, the like recognition, public, non-public, who cares? That recognition, that like progress and confidence, the reward. There you said that I meant victory and success, the execution, the alignment with what you want. Like this is a really good thing for air signs in general. Very much so death, change, cycle of death so change birth rebirth death rebirth but because of one of the wand cards i don't remember which one mm -hmm. <laughs> i think it's this one i mean this one that's the fastness and this one's a victory and success pretty fucking sure um but because of the wands being action and things like that and both right side up these wand cards are telling you like yeah it's gonna go fast it's gonna go zoom 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 you're gonna be like stressed out possibly 
but it's gonna be a good thing. You're gonna have victory, success, feel amazing. You're gonna re rep, reap, is it reap your rewards? I don't know. You're gonna be very happy. You're gonna have your rewards there. You're gonna be stressed probably because it's gonna be a fast decision kind of thing. Like maybe it's gonna be a deadline. Maybe your job or something is gonna offer you like, hey, did you want this thing? It's blah, 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 but you have until like tomorrow to choose or you have until this week to where you feel the pressure and it's fast and it's like, go, 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 go. But it's gonna be, or it's falling everywhere, but it's gonna be a very good positive change for you. It's death, rebirth. The other cat wanna come up? Yep, yeah, come on. Oh, sorry, you're spinning me, you know that. Come on, old lady. It's okay, good girl, ow, claws. Claws, you're the old one, so you have to use your claws because you do not have to think fixed attitude. But yes, for air signs, it's very much so going to be positivity, good change, fast change, quick change. Christy, you also can't just be on one leg, that doesn't work. I'm tiny, why can't the cats realize this? This is not that I did everything. Fire, water, earth, air, yes I did. Oh, good shaking. 